Get together with your mentor and agree on the best communication method for both of you. An initial video voice meeting is a great way to get to know each other. What works for both of you considering time zones, internet access, and what environment you'll be in. If you find it isn't working for one of you, you should switch it up. A good relationship with your mentor is the number one factor in a successful summer. Mentors are there to help you, but you also have to step up and be proactive. They can't hand feed you every answer. Open source is all about figuring things out. If you've got a question, first try to figure out the answer yourself. If you can't find the answer on Google or the mailing list or forum search, or by posting the questions publicly to the community, then ask your mentor. Open source is about doing things in the open where other people can chime in. So don't use private email with your mentor if there's a public alternative. Private communication can be used when discussing personal schedules, life events, or concern and complaints about another person. The community bonding period is crucial. It's nearly a month long and it gives you an opportunity to define and agree on the scope of your project with your mentor directly. It's a great time to learn about the organization, its processes, procedures. Great time to get familiar with the code base, setting up your development environment, and reading the organization's development documentation. Try to understand the more complex parts of your project, all the way down to reading about the algorithms you're going to be implementing. Meet other people in the organization. If you've done all that, feel free to use the time to get a head start on your project. Some organizations have specific requirements around proof of work. Successful participants are able to clearly show what work they've done each and every day. So make sure that there's a public record of the work that you're doing. If you're participating in project mailing lists, writing blog posts, and making commits regularly, this isn't hard at all. You are now a member of an amazing community. Use it. Ask questions on chat or mailing list, or better yet, answer them. You can help other new GSOC students, and you'll get massive points for improving documentation for future newcomers. Reach out to the GSOC discussion mailing list. Now, while it rarely happens, if you have an issue with your mentor, for example, your mentor is not answering your emails, not making scheduled meetings, or you seem to have a conflict with one another, reach out to your org admin directly and early. Don't wait until the evaluation period when it's generally too late. 